Hello, my friends. I'm going to be doing a Dutch pour today on a pretty big canvas, a 24 by 24. I'm using very similar colors to a Dutch pour I did not too long ago with neutrals. Um, my base coat is going to be white tinted with a bit of metallic black. And so I've got metallic black, black, silver, an oyster, and champagne in art mines. And then I reserved a little bit of white from my base coat before I uh, mixed in the, tinted it with the metallic black. So that's the color palette. Now the last time I did this, I thinned out my paints more than I usually do. I, my normal mix for Dutch pour is five, three, two. Five parts flow trowel, three parts paint, two parts water. For some reason, I put three parts water and it moved a lot and I didn't really care for it that much. So that's why I'm redoing it again because it really looked pretty when it was, <laughs> when it was wet. And from that, I added some... Um, designs to my online clothing store, which uh, I will link down below if you're interested. It, they really came out quite beautiful, I think. Uh, I had a kimono and a reversible dress, a couple of tunics. This is an interesting piece. It's a cape, a kind of a layered thing. And a cute little dress, a reversible tank top and a t-shirt and more, and in a lot of different designs. Most of them are color, but I, I'm just showing you this because the, these are the colors I'm using today. So let me um, pause here and lay down my base coat because that will take a while with the large canvas and then we'll get to work. Okay, base coat is down. I had to zoom way out so you could see the whole canvas. As I said, it's a 24 by 24, but um, let's get to it. So I'm going to start with the light colors and work my way up to the dark because I like the contrast of the dark and I found in previous ones that if I start with the... Uh, dark. Sometimes that gets swallowed and then there's just not enough contrast. So I like adding my dark color last doing Dutch pour. So I'm going to start with the, what is this? Champagne, I think it's called. Now, how to lay this out. A larger canvas. Layout is going to be different. I'll try that. Okay, now I'm moving on to the... Oh, it's very windy today. This is um, Oyster. No, um, Classic Pearl. I don't think they make these anymore, but you can find a similar color in other brands. I almost have a different idea for this than the, my typical Dutch pour. So I might change things up. I'm going to go to the white now.
and I'll do the metallic metallic black, then the silver, then the black. Here comes the drama. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't experiment on this big canvas. I should go with the tried and true. I'll tell you what I was thinking of doing was tilting it around before I um, hit, the, hit it with the hair dryer and then just hitting part of it because I almost like the way this looks like this and then not blowing out the whole thing. But this is so much, this is a large canvas, a lot of paint. I, I don't want to be unhappy with that idea. I should, I'll experiment on something smaller because I have plenty of paint left in the colors anyway. And I'll see how I like that. And okay, here comes the flat black. These are all metallics up to this point, but this one is a matte color. Yeah, I almost like it just the way it is, but I can't leave it like that. So here we go. Fingers crossed. That's a lot of black. All right, now I'm going to jag it up some of the edges a little bit. I like the dark here, the drama, like the dark, dark. Okay, I think I like it. Probably see this as the bottom because it's darkest down here and that kind of the weight of the painting is here and it would uh, just look best to have the dark at the bottom, I think. 
And I'm gonna get a skewer. Where's my? I had to really clear the deck to make room for this big canvas. Just to add a few of my kind of signature curly cues. And I see a funny looking bump. I'm gonna leave that though. I didn't want to run it over that line there. Okay, well, you don't need to watch me do all that, but there may be a few more. Okay, I like it. As I said, as much as I love bright colors, once in a while, doing something with uh, neutrals like this is quite exciting. I don't mind uh, that amount of selling, and I don't think it'll sell too much more because this mix is a little thick. And that's the appearance I like. Okay, my friends. There you have it. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna walk around the other side of the table and show you from the orientation that I prefer what it looks like. There we go. Okay. Thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time.